Alright, hello everybody. Welcome to another deck highlight video. Unfortunately, I was not blessed with good RNG. I opened my two saved collection caches and did not get Lady Deathstrike. I did get Stature, so maybe a Stature deck video is on the horizon. But for now, we're focusing on this deck, which I'm calling Cheap Collection. It focuses uh, around the obvious play of stealing cards from your opponent with cards like Cable, Mantis, Mirage, as I just shown. Uh, Mirage being one of the better ones since it gives you an above rate version of your opponent's card. Uh, we also have Nick Fury and White Queen that do similar effects. And then we're pairing those cards with obviously the Collector to get him very large if we can play those after we played him out. And then to synergize with that, we have Quinjet to reduce the cost of cards that didn't start in our deck. Zabu to reduce the cost of four cost cards, so that affects our Nick Fury and White Queen. It also affects any Cable, Mantis, Mirage, or White Queen cards that we pull from somewhere else that would be four cost. So if we have Quinjet and Zabu down, we're now playing four costs at two cost. We then have Magic to extend the game so we can just play out everything and Sarah as well to add additional cost reduction so we can get four cost cards that we pulled from elsewhere down to one cost cards and as you can see this is extrapolating very quickly and then we also have onslaught so we could Sarah on five onslaught on six and then explode the board with two cost six drops and then we have Odin as another play line to play into like a path that we put Cable, Nick Fury, and White Queen just to buff Collector and then get some more stuff for turn seven to play. Uh, I made this deck as just like a haha let's see what happens and it has felt actually extremely good. A lot of these collection decks end up feeling clunky in my opinion but this one feels extremely good to me so I'm very happy and I'm happy to show it with you guys. So if you guys enjoy these weird kind of off-the-wall decks that work please consider subscribing for more and leaving a like and comment letting me know what other cards i'm missing that i could have put in that would make the deck better anyway into the video hopping into the first one uh we have a very good hand with quinjet cable magic um orcus forge also very good for us since that means every card we play there we're getting a one cost sentinel back we don't really need to abuse that too much since we only need one sentinel to get value out of it. Um, yeah, I want that. Mm, I don't think we can get that actually. It might be in our best interest to just turn it off. Because as much as I'd like White Hot Room, I don't think we have the tempo to get that. And I'd rather our opponent not get it. Uh, also, this is something I mentioned in the beginning talk, but uh, Cable getting the buff to draw the top deck uh, doesn't really have any impact, right? However, from a using Cable perspective, it feels a lot better. It feels more impactful and feels more like... Uh, you son of a bitch. Uh, it feels like you're more disruptive now than you were before playing him. So that is one uh, nice thing we have uh, different from before. Um, hmm. So I can skip this turn, next turn play She-Hulk, Nick Fury, which I think is what I'm Really can't do that though. Ooh, they dig up this time. We have Clactus. Uh, it doesn't do anything. That is funny that we got Clactus. Uh, looks like we're playing Surfer. In case that wasn't abundantly obvious.
Um, go with this for now. We could do it in the Nick Fury, actually, see if we can get a better 6 drop. We could also try to... S this isn't Surfer. Wait, they have a they have a She-Hulk. So I'm just going to take a card from them. What? Is this High Evolutionary or something? I mean... There's a world we win that. Okay. I'm gonna make the hard read that they're playing for Orcus because they're up two there already. Yeah. Weird deck, but whatever. A win's a win. No matter how we uh, how we draw it up. All right, hopping into the second game. We have a very good setup here. Being collector anywhere, Magic Jotunheim. Get it out of here. Move onward. High evolutionary, not very fun, but I'll take that. I will take that for sure. We'll just magic that now. Victory. Nice. Easy win. They knew what kind of deck we were playing, though they stood no chance at all. Moving on. Alright. After that uh, comedic break. Ew. This is kind of bad for us. Um... Another high evolutionary deck. It's like the last guy didn't even retreat. Oh, that's not what I want to see. Um, do that. Just try and take a card. Maybe I see like a Hulk or something. You know, it's pretty dang close. Ah, oh, you motherfucker. Uh... It's fine. Uh, if they play two cards, that's a bummer. I don't really think that they can, honestly. Yeah, I think they kind of shot themselves in the foot trying to keep me out of Raft that they then ended up giving me Wrath for free. Here we are. All right, moving onward. These locations are not being kind, but that's okay. Um, but also uh, something else I've been thinking about for the channel is different types of videos. So obviously I mainly do these deck highlights for you guys, but I could also do more update related videos. I know that one's been uh, talked about, so I'll probably try and do one or two of those, see how those perform. Um, you know, this area getting hit there, pretty good. But also if you wanna see more like meta breakdowns, like these are the top decks right now, or um, just other style of videos that aren't necessarily just deck highlights like tips on when you should be snapping and different kind of things like that if that's something that interests you uh, I can certainly do that if not I'm not gonna waste my time doing videos like that uh, that's 
honestly fine. Ideally, it would have hit uh, Odin, but we're still chilling. So. Um. They play a. We have their Killmonger, so they can't. Uh, where did we get this Enchantress from? Oh, that's from Mantis. Nice. Why is this deck running Enchantress? What? Card right here. The classic two negative one green cop. Uh, I don't exactly know why he left, but the other side of that is I'm not exactly sure why he venomed Mojo World. Maybe the Wolverine flipped into peaks and like he saw it before I got to see it. Because typically, like, uh, if it's like they get to see it a little bit ahead if it's their turn. Um, I'm, saying, I'm guessing that's what happened, and then he couldn't Galactus, but I already knew he had Galactus, so uh, that's not that big of a deal. But hey, wins win. Alright, alright. Oh, we got Collector. We got Collector with uh, maybe the best Collector card in the game. So hopefully we can get like a Zabu. Sarah or Quinjet, any of the three really, uh, will all give us more or less the same effect. Uh, yeah, we're gonna magic that heck out of here. So we're not gonna mess around there. Because they obviously just have a massive advantage into Lake Hills. I could also play into Vibranium Mines and then play six power Vibranium. I'm not gonna do that. But I could. But I won't. Um, Thanos Lockjaw. Fun, creative, unique. I'm, I'm fine doing that because I'm gonna fill my hand here. So it doesn't really matter. Thanos, Mr. Negative. To each their own. Hey, I got Thanos. Uh, obviously buffing our collector, just good. has a bunch of negative cards but it also is important to note that a lot of the negative cards he's getting are stones that are just bad. Bast is apparently in his deck which is just bad. Magneto here and 
hopefully make him miss his lockjaw. Which could be pretty good for me. Oh. Ha! Just kidding. Can't do that. That was a bit of a funny I did there. Is this negative? I feel like that's supposed to be negative, but it's not. They forgot how basic math works. And it was, okay, it was negative. They forgot how basic math works. So interesting. And I almost Odin to left too, which would have certainly won me the game. All right, hopping into what will be the last video. Uh, and it's looking like a banger. Commertage. Oh. So we're playing that there. We might magic Mojo. Ah, now we'll leave Mojo because Mojo's like for us. We can, we play up tempo. Mm, I guess that's not correct. Yeah, we'll snap for the content. Frick you, Hilario. You're trapped in here with us, not the other way around, bucko. Uh, Nick Fury into... Oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah. That's gonna be good. Nick Fury, Sarah, and then, uh, Mirage a six drop. <laughs> like, they're chilling. Oh, uh, it's Snape Surfer. Okay. Still believe in heroes. Eh. Not very exciting. Honestly, it's looking like Mirage Odin. Um. We'll do that. Yeah, we'll do that. God, I really hope he has Iron Man in hand. That'd be so sick. Ah. Yeah, that's fine. Two one fives with no downside. No, that doesn't mean I cannot win middle. Sorry, I'm just trying to think about how I do that. I can't win middle. Six. Hold on. It's uh eight no. Two four six twelve power. Puts them to twenty one. Me a seventeen. I don't think I can win that. Which is unfortunate. Um. Yeah, I mean, I'm assuming yes, sir, for a hand. Maybe he doesn't. Yeah, the, the annoying thing is we're going to lose by one power here because my hand was a little too full.
Yeah, and there's nothing we could do. Hey, that's okay. I mean, I think this showcases the deck fairly well. You're able to keep up with a negative surfer deck because this deck actually has a kind of good matchup into negative if you're able to snag the right cards. We unfortunately snagged four mystiques and <laughs> two magics, so not the best. But uh, if you guys enjoyed or can think of any upgrades to the deck, please let me know in the comments and subscribe for more of this content and leave a like. But anyway, I'll see you in the next one.